With Vectorworks 2019, there's no need to use external image editing software to tweak the look of your rendered viewports or imported images for your presentations. The new image effects functionality lets you accomplish this within the same platform and environment you used to create your designs in the first place. Note, this effect is nearly instantaneous and does not require waiting for a render to complete, even when it's applied to existing rendered viewports. The most direct way to access this menu is to right-click on the image or viewport to which you wish to apply the image effect. Alternatively, check the Apply Image Effects box in a selected object's object info palette, and then click the Image Effects button to edit them. This can be done in the Resource Manager as well for resources that do not normally reside out on the drawing on their own. Editing the various effects on the right side of the Image Effects dialog will immediately alter the preview image on the left, but you can also click the Preview button to update the element right on the Design layer or Sheet layer if desired. Like other Settings dialogs, all changes will be kept if you click OK. All changes will be discarded if you click Cancel. This preview dialog can be resized, where enlarging it may help to visually inspect the results of the applied effects. The effects available to you include Exposure, which is effectively a flat brightness setting. This allows you to directly control the amount of light in the image. The following three items are similar, but affect different areas of the image. Contrast is similar to exposure. However, instead of brightening or darkening the entire image, you can choose whether shaded or brightly lit areas are lighter or darker, respectively. Highlights will adjust the brightness of only the already well-lit areas of your image. Shadows will adjust the brightness of only the shaded or less well-lit area of your drawing. Saturation adjusts the color intensity of the image. Further to the left reduces the color, and further to the right can dramatically increase it. Sliding this all the way to the left will quickly give you a grayscale image without necessitating any texture or color editing. Temperature will adjust the mood of your image. Bluer and cooler, or redder and warmer. This makes it easier to exaggerate the Heliodon lighting time of day in your scene as well. Sharpness is effectively a blur and sharpen tool. It can be helpful when matching another existing image or to add a slight blur to stylize lower resolution and renders. Sepia works best in conjunction with saturation, where you've already reduced the color and then add a sepia effect on top of that. But it can be controlled separately. Edges is a little different. This option directly affects the edges of your image or the crop. This softens the edges of the image itself with a transparency, the slider bar controlling how much of a percentage this transparency covers from the edge of the image towards the center. Auto Level will attempt to automatically adjust the settings within this dialog to get the most out of your image, but of course this is not necessary. Invert Colors does exactly what you might think and shows the reverse of all colors in the image, including the reverse colors of any effects you've already applied. The Reset button is available for you to easily revert to the stock image in its unmodified state. Similarly to the Export DWG and Publish dialog, this dialog lets you save a set of settings for later use. Once you find a style you like, you can save it as a resource and then easily apply it to other objects that accept image effects. Not only that, but the eyedropper tool can be used to transfer previously adjusted image effects as well. A new checkbox under Other Attributes and Viewport Attributes for Image Effects has been added to the eyedropper's preference dialog. Image effects can be applied to not only RenderWorks viewports and images that reside within the drawing area, but the image bases of textures, image fills, and RenderWorks backgrounds as well. So you can take advantage of this feature even if you haven't yet started using viewports.